Good morning to the best family on YouTube. I apologize for not screaming this morning, but we're in my actual residential gym and there are people working out, so I don't want to mess with them. And if you're wondering why Ali is in a corner right now, I'm kind of stuck in here. It's because we're filming a prank right now. That's how we're starting in the morning. Banger season is in full effect this morning. And I know you guys hate when we tell you our ideas. So we're gonna tell you as much as we can because you're watching this vlog the day before the prank comes out. So here's what's gonna happen. Ali's here early, we're here early because we're planning where he's gonna be for each of these things. We had Christian put up a picture of me and a listing for personal training sessions and asking people if they need personal training for the cheap, like super, super cheap. We got a ton of submissions, so we picked who we wanted, and they're gonna come here for a personal training session. But when they come to their personal training session, they're getting this guy. Hold this. They're getting this guy. So you can already tell, this guy is a little... Yeah, the fanny pack. The fanny pack is a little weird. So during the personal training, I'm gonna be extremely obnoxious. I'm gonna say like, hilarious things, I'm gonna do hilarious things, and there's one hidden twist that's gonna happen, which I'm not gonna tell you guys, but it's hiding in this fanny pack right here, that's all I'll say, because that'll give away the prank, and it's gonna happen, and it's gonna be hilarious. I totally believe in this one, and I just wanna say this, I did not go to YouTube and search if this prank has done before. I'm at the level where I don't feel like I need to do that, I shouldn't have to do that, and I don't care. And if anybody has done it, this is gonna be the best one, and the most creative and unique one, and it's gonna be my way. I don't care about how anybody else does their stuff, I'm gonna do it my way, because that's the only way I know. So yeah, we're starting the morning off, strong, banger season, super excited. Um, I, I keep wanting to take a Sunday off. I'm like, no, there shouldn't be a prank this week. I've uploaded so many, but you know what? I'm like, I can't. I'm, I'm going so fast, I can't. I can't stop banging out more for you guys, and I hope you guys respect that and, like, and appreciate that and support that. It's banger season. <laughs> guys, we're taking a break from the video shoot right now. We've already gotten how many reactions? Four? Really? We've gotten a bunch. We don't even know if they're all gonna make the video. We might have to do a part two. But then, when we came to this gym, I found something. I was like, I know what we can do for the vlog right now. Ladies and gentlemen, in the right corner, weighing... How much do you weigh? I don't know. 152 pounds! 5'11", straight out of the suburbs of Afghanistan. The Afghan... Yeah. Show them what you got. I got nothing. Come on, come on, Ali, please. How about we just save it for? No, no. Come on. Why? So embarrassing. No, it's not. You were actually doing good. See? Yeah. And then like the camera came out. So far, every time we've talked about boxing, you've averted a fight, and now you have a chance to show them what you got, and now you're getting things. How about me and you go right now? No! <laughs> I don't want to fight. Just get, come on. Really? I don't like, I'm just punching. You were going to do it before I, come on, please. There you go, there you go. Oh, he actually can box. Oh, shit. Sam, come look at this. Sam, look at this. Look at this. What's happening? I'm just punching him. We weren't. Christian, how hard is he hitting? <laughs> oh, oh shit. Guys, maybe he would have knocked me out. His knuckles are bleeding. Southpaw. Oh my god, here, let's sit you down, relax, relax. There's so much anger in that. Did you see that? Wow, I know. Was that like the years of working with me? Like everything you were taking oh, out? I was just picturing you, yeah. Oh my god. No. Well, I've done it before in a vlog, and they all told me I punched wrong and don't know how to punch. Were so you I don't punching know. I was just punching like bad. He could hurt himself. Dang, Ali. Was... See, I give respect when respects due. That's the thing, guys. If no, no, because no, people always think I'm hating. Not try... if you prove yourself, I got no wrong giving respect when respect is due. He did good, huh? Dude, I was feeling the power. Feeling the power. I felt the power. Good job. I'm in like a dress shirt. Ali, Ali, Ali. So we just wrapped. 
That took us, I think we started at 11 a.m. It is currently 5 p.m. Uh, we got all the things done and I haven't had that much fun filming a prank in a long time. Christian, I was just saying, I haven't had that much fun filming a, a prank. Of laughs. There's a lot of laughs. Usually I've been doing scare pranks or this or that. This one was just nice, clean, fun with hilarious reactions. And I haven't done a gym prank since 2013 or 12 when I used to have my body. So I knew, I always told myself, whenever you get your body, you're gonna do a gym prank. Whenever you get your body, you're gonna do a gym prank. I got my body and I just did a gym prank and Sunday is about to bang out on all levels of banger season. So no hype. I let the success be the noise, you guys know that, so I'm not gonna sit here and say, hey guys, I got a big prank coming. I'm just gonna say, I worked hard, I have a great video for you guys, I believe in it, and I know my bros are gonna like it. My bros have been super loving each other lately. They share the same bed, they make out all day, they share the same food bowl, the same water bowl, the same poo area. They are madly, deeply in love. This is the honeymoon phase. Because at first I called them brother and sister, but now I think they might be boyfriend girlfriend. Because look, that's you can just tell. This is private. Stop watching, bro. Oh, there you go. Ooh, dollar. That's cute. That's so cute. <laughs> yes, it's arm around her. Bro, bros, you guys know I've been doing my workout journey for 90 days now. And that shit gets boring when you do the same thing every day. Yeah, yeah. So today in the morning, I couldn't even get myself up to do my workout and I missed it. And then my boy Don, who, Came with the Matrix. who lives in the building, I seen him and I was like, yo, you got a class? He said, yeah, I was like, I want to come. And my boy trains Fergie, uh, Will I Am, uh, the Kardashians, Kanye, like everybody. So I got to do his workout class today and that shit whooped my ass, so. I like to invite you to the Matrix. So yeah, it's in my building. So you guys can check him out, come get a workout in with him and that is intense, so. I got it in, 90 day pictures coming up on Tuesday. Yeah. I think it right. <laughs> I think it right. Just got home from the gym. They were both licking me a second ago, but then this girl got tired. Oh, cause she's licking the thing. Muffin, come show them that you love me too, come here. Guys, don't get distracted, kiss me. We're a big happy family. That was gross, Dollar. That was gross. I forgot to mention, tomorrow's prank is gonna be in 4K HD quality. It's my first ever prank that I'm uploading in 4K options. So if you have a 4K monitor, you get to watch tomorrow's prank in 4K. That is insane for a prank on YouTube. And for the prank, I was gonna do a little movie in the beginning like I did for the last one, but we got so many reactions and the prank's already gonna be so long, I didn't wanna complicate it. So it's not gonna have a little movie in the beginning, so I'm gonna pick and choose when I do a movie, but it doesn't mean it's not gonna be a banger. And yeah guys, I got my workout in, filmed the prank today. There's no mornings with Fousey today because it's the weekend, it's a Monday through Friday show. Um, I feel healthy, I feel happy, and I just feel good and I feel blessed and yeah, I'm super content right now and I'm happy for these days. Yusuf, are you sure you want to do this? I have to, Sam. But like, mm, it's like your favorite thing ever. Sam, I can't be known as that. I, I, I have to, it's, it's, I don't want to, but I have to. Yusuf, you just called it your baby like two days ago. All right, bro, bros. I know I always tell you guys to not listen to your haters and to not listen to what people say about you and wear what you want, say what you want, do what you want, and follow your heart. But I have to be a hypocrite right now. I have to go against what I believe in. And believe me, I love the drone. I do. And I've had so much fun with it and I love taking my, you know, vlogs to the next level and, you know, taking you guys out and I was planning to take it with me on the vacation with my parents and, you know, fly in different countries and, you know, 
because I've been in LA for 90 days. I haven't been able to leave because the fitness journey, but I'm finally about to start traveling the world soon for the vlogs. It's going to be like the best time ever, but I can't fly that drone anymore. A lot of you know why. I just, I just, I just can't fly that drone anymore. The drone that you guys saw me fly, I, I can never fly anymore. The way it looked, like I can, that's it. I'm just fucking with y'all. The reason I can't fly that drone no more is because I've been waiting for this dope ass case to arrive of all my goodie equipment and all my stuff and this dope ass decal that you've never seen before. That's why I can't fly the drone no more. You guys are wondering why hasn't he been flying the drone? Is he done flying the drone? Cause I was waiting for this dope ass case and this dope ass decal and these dope ass prop guards. I'm just getting started with the drone, bruh bruhs. I ain't never stopping. I've been busy cause the grind and it's been banger season. I've been working on mornings with Pussy. I haven't had time to go outside and fly the drone. I'm taking this with me on vacation with me and my parents so I can fly in different countries. I'm gonna fly this every day, any day of the week, all right? Don't get it twisted. Your bruh bro would never stop for any reason. Don't get it twisted, bruh bros. <laughs> Sorry for pulling that prank on you guys, bro bros, but I was reading a whole bunch of comments says, oh, this is why he isn't playing it, this is why he isn't playing with it. I was like, do they not know they're, they're lying? Do they, do they really think I'm that weak? So anyways, wanted to get that out of there. Another thing, I was disappointed because in one of the vlogs when me and Simi were vlogging here at my apartment, a lot of you guys thought I was smoking and doing hookah and everything. I did hookah right before my fitness journey or I think maybe the week of or something like that and people were upset. They were like, if you're changing your life, we don't want to see you do hookah. I haven't touched my hookah since I started the 90 day journey. It's been there. But you guys saw smoke, like look, I'll show you what you guys saw. You guys saw this. And you guys thought it was my vape, and you guys thought it was this, you guys thought it was that. Guys, if you follow close attention to all my vlogs, you guys know that I light these up every single night. They're called incense. I th incense, incense, in, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so these things give your apartment a very distinct smell and a very distinct aroma and I love it and I light like I wake up in the morning I light it before I leave dollar and muffin I come home I light it at night I light it and it's always lit my apartment's always lit by it so come on bros y'all should know me better than that to have to read comments like oh he was smoking he was doing hookah I was like bruh it's been 90 days I've been healthy I've been good you know, so don't don't think that of what me. Are, what are with your uh, veins? Oh, you, oh, you know. <laughs> and look at your forearm too. Oh, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah. guys, check this out. It's Friday night, right? Right now we're in LA. LA, if you guys don't know, is the capital of partying and drinking. That's what Hollywood is. That's what the Hollywood scene is. People get bottle service. People drink. People think. Friday night for me consists of getting paperwork done with Simi paying bills, and editing a video. Um, because tomorrow is my LASIK eye surgery, uh, eye, LASIK eye surgery, I have to edit the prank tonight because I'm not gonna be able to use my eyes too much on my screen tomorrow. So I'm spending my Friday night editing a prank. Success requires sacrifice. So when I was young, you know, the important things to me were always going out, having fun, pulling girls, you know, doing a whole bunch of stuff that was really distracting me from chasing my dreams. Now as a grown man, and I do call myself as a grown man, even though my age is still young, I'm much more mature than, you know, a young cat. I do what's important. A lot of YouTubers get distracted, and I never throw shade anymore. I'm way past that, but I'm just saying, because I used to do that. A lot of YouTubers get distracted, and something that actually motivated me, uh, he doesn't even know he motivated me, but one of my friends was talking to KSI, and KSI had mentioned that a lot of YouTubers are lazy because they don't upload. They don't upload, you know, weekly. They don't upload uh, multi-times a week and stuff like that. And when I heard that, I was like, he's right, man. He drives a Lambo. He has a house for his parents. He does so much. And that's why I don't do anything but work now because for anybody to give an excuse as to why they didn't upload, it is just that. It's an excuse. 
we have more than enough time to work on you know so many videos and do anything it all goes down to how badly do you want it and not getting stagnant because YouTube channels with the big channels make money regardless of if they upload or if they don't upload I cannot upload on FusiTube right now and make great money every single month I promise you that but that's how youtubers mess up because they're comfortable they're making that good money and they don't stay hungry J Cole has a line um, and it's motivated my whole life by tenfolds. It goes, money comes fast, so being hungry don't last until you look in the mirror and you saw who you was. Again, money comes fast, so being hungry don't last until you look in the mirror and you saw who you was. Meaning, when you're first starting to be successful, you're hungry. You do everything it takes. You're working endlessly. But once you get successful and you start making that money, you're not hungry no more. Now you're busy buying jewelry and buying jewels and cars and partying and traveling and all this stuff. And you forget what it took to get there. And the only way you're gonna continue to reach success is if you remember who you were before you got the success. And that motivates my dreams every single day. And with that note, I'm gonna end the vlog. Cause like I said, I'm gonna edit the prank right now for you guys so I don't stop for you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope that inspired you in the slightest. Hope you give this video a big thumbs up. I don't say that every vlog, but when I do, I really do appreciate when you guys say it. And I hope you guys have yourself a blessed Saturday. Simi, anything you wanna say to them? I love you. Good night. She don't love y'all. I do. She, she don't love y'all. You know how much they love me? I know how much they love you. That's why I love them. Peace, y'all. <laughs>